Hey, this is Taylor with two different ribbon shortcuts to help you kill your command clutter and help you make it to happy hour. And because these shortcuts work across the entire Microsoft Office suite and they're huge lifesavers when you're forced to work on a small laptop screen like when you're traveling, that's why I'm recommending that everybody learn them. And the two shortcuts are Control plus F1 to collapse your ribbon and Control plus Shift plus F1 to auto hide your ribbon, what I'm calling distraction free mode. And there's one little snag that pops up when you use both of these shortcuts together, but I'll point that out in just a second. But let's first take a look at these. So here in PowerPoint, the first shortcut is just Control plus F1, Control plus F1, and you'll notice that all of the commands will pop up into my ribbon tabs. Control Shift F1 again will open them back up again. But special note, Control plus F1, my ribbon tabs are still up top. My QAT shortcuts are all here. Hopefully you already have those set up. And all of the commands at the bottom of my screen are there. So Control plus F1 will open or collapse Control F1 your commands, which used to be as close as you could get to distraction free mode, but now if you add the shift key, watch what happens. So control F1 to open up my ribbon guides again, control shift plus F1 is going to completely eliminate the commands at the top and bottom of my screen. So control shift plus F1, notice these commands at the bottom, they're all gonna disappear, control shift plus F1, which is great if you're working on your laptop, on a computer, on an airplane, you could even close up the thumbnail view here on the left, which takes away all of that command clutter, allowing you to focus, control shift plus F1 will open them back up again, so you can stay focused on your work. Now I have two more quick points I wanna make about this shortcut, but first off, if you found this video helpful so far, please take a second and give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. It's an easy click for you and lets me know what kind of content I should continue to add to my channel. Okay, so two more quick pointers about this last shortcut. The first point I wanna make about this shortcut is after you use it, Control Shift plus F1, notice that your ribbon guide shortcut still works. If I wanna change the bullet formatting of this text, I can still hit and let go of the Alt key, hit H, hit U, and then use my keyboard to change my bullet formatting of the text, hit Enter, and notice that all of the commands disappear again. You can always, always click these if you wanna see them for a second with your mouse, but that's just Alt H U, will still bring up all of your bullet formatting, allowing you to quickly change the format of your bullets without touching your mouse. The second pointer I wanna make, and I'm just gonna Control Shift plus F1 to open up the guides again, or the ribbon, is that the Control F1 shortcut that I showed you and the Control Shift plus F1 shortcut will lock each other out. And what I mean by that is Control Shift plus F1, Control F1 to open up my commands again, if I hit Control Shift plus F1, and now I start hitting Control F1, I see people do this, they're saying, hey, it doesn't work anymore. This Control Shift plus F1 shortcut as of now will actually lock out the other one. So if you wanna use the Control F1 shortcut, you first need to do Control Shift plus F1, kinda of sounds confusing, open up, come out of distraction free mode, then you can use the Control F1 shortcut to open and close or snap your commands into the ribbon tabs. So those are your two ribbon shortcuts to help you make it to happy hour. And I've added them both to my updated PDF shortcut cheat sheet that you can grab for free directly beneath this video. Shortcuts are one of the fastest ways to double your productivity in PowerPoint, which is why if you're interested in being faster, I highly recommend grabbing my shortcut cheat sheet with all of the PowerPoint shortcuts grouped by activity directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.